Good morning, folks. Today is going to be a short live style news so that hopefully you have time to watch last night's upload, the 2017 climate update. We do try to do at least one of those every year. As promised, here is the end of life of that sun diving comet we've now seen two days in a row. It did come in, curl, and hit at about the 9 o'clock position from Earth's vantage point. Coming over to spaceweathernews.com, let's come right and check out the last 24 hours on our star here in 193 angstroms. We can see, and we're going to see, there's a pop right there. Could be a tiny CME, nothing major, but it does look like there was a push outward. After that happens, I want you to watch this central filament, and actually while it's happening, there's a shift around, and that actually precedes the small flare and whatever release did occur. We could see on SOHO here that even though there is some ejecta leaving the sun, it doesn't look like there's anything major heading in Earth's direction. However, coming in just behind that are those new sunspots, and they have continued to grow. You can see they've doubled in size overnight once again, and right in the middle, we had that positive back and negative lead, but we are starting to get positive mixing potential at the northern edge of the middle of the group. We'll have to be watching that today. Most interesting earthquake of the last day actually hit far western Canada. That is well above average for the Yukon Territory. One interesting article we're sharing this morning. This one came out a couple of days ago. It's a combination of efforts by UCLA and the University of Wisconsin, essentially saying that life is everywhere. Whether you're talking about the conditions for life or the chemicals needed, it appears that life has been around for a very long time, may not have originated on this planet, and may have even begun in space. But certainly in their eyes, it can be seen everywhere, which is exactly the thoughts that we presented in 2013 in our Starwater video series. At suspiciousobservers.org slash starwater, the entire series is now free for you to watch. I've thrown in a couple of other things in there as well, but there's a number of videos. I do hope you'll go enjoy that one if you haven't seen it yet. Let's come now to the top weather alert on Earth. That tropical system, the typhoon-looking monster over the Philippines, the second one in a week. It is going to finally begin to exit the region today. It will swing down towards the region of Malaysia and Brunei that already took a pounding off the system that left a few days before. Let's come back to now and we're going to take a look at the top weather alert in the United States. You can pretty much apply this type of thinking anywhere you want to go. It is very early, pre-sunrise right now, so let's go to about this evening time when some of the weather might be kicking up. And you can see we have a little convergence right there of the pressure cells. That's the low, there's the high, there's the high, and it converging right along that region there. You see the air coming up, air coming down, and where they meet is where you're going to get the action. Because it is cold, most of the water is actually getting past the convergence point freezing and then dropping here. You can apply that anywhere you would like. Once again, we have a, quite a bit to look for on our star. We're going to be watching these plasma filaments to see if they do anything else eruptive, and that sunspot coming in up there is growing and gaining magnetic complexity. Again, if you didn't get a chance to watch last night's climate update, it is there and very important. And as always, the first minute and a half confuses a lot of newcomers. That is, again, the point, though. Don't forget, you've got the Star Water series to watch as well. And if you've never taken the time to do your own weather forecast with Windy, pressure, rain and snow, you can figure it out from there. We'll do this again tomorrow. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.